Hi friends. I am fairly certain we are live. I'll wait and see. Katie is going to help me remotely again today. So hopefully all will go as smooth as it did yesterday. We are doing a fusion mineral paint demo on this beauty today in my house. I have four kids at home and two dogs. So hopefully everything will go smoothly with no glitches. But you know what, we'll just roll with the glitches if they happen, right? So what we're gonna do today is, let me get down here so I can see what's happening. Okay, here we go. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take you through the steps that I use to prep, clean, and paint a piece of furniture such as this. And you can purchase, you can purchase any of our in-stock fusion paint from this sale. I listed out what the products are. Um, if you've never purchased with us in this format before, all you have to do is type register and you will register with our checkout app, which is Comment Sold. If you have um, shopped our live sales before, it works the same. You would just comment sold in the item number and for the colors of paint, they are all listed above what we have in stock. So you would just say comment sold 300 and the color. Okay, so today we have paint, wax, small brush, large brush, and tough coat those are the five products that you can purchase from the sale but i'm going to take you through how we would do this piece right here okay so this is let me see if i can back you up a little bit okay this is one of those lane cedar chests that you see all over the place they're maple on the outside i believe and inside is the cedar chest with the really great insert this one has a lock it's a really a great solid piece and it was beautiful in the color it was it just was a little beat up and it didn't work really well with where i want to put it which is in this living room so i thought it would be fun while i'm home today to get this painted and to show you how i do it okay super simple so all i do with a piece like this is i give it a good washing just simply um, i use dish soap and water but we also sell tsp in the store from Fusion and you could just mix that up with some warm water, wash it all down. The second thing I did for this piece because it's a really um, slick surface is I just roughed it up with some sandpaper. It's not meant to be a remove the finish type sanding, but more of a cleaning sand is what Vicki and I like, you, like, to use, like to call it. And that would be with a fine grit sandpaper and you simply go with the grain. You could see where I've sanded everything here. Go with the grain and just scuff it up. You could see it's just kind of rough scuffed, right? I'm not gonna sand it here because it's really loud and annoying. So I prepped it all and I sanded it all. Just simply lightly sand. You're not trying to take the finish off, okay? And then I washed it down again and I used a dust buster actually to get all of the sanding dust out and so now it's really clean and we're gonna give it a coat of paint, okay? We sell three lines of paint in our store. We sell Fusion Mineral Paint. We sell our own in-house brand, which we have manufactured for us, which is called Plum City Paint. And we also sell Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint, okay? So we sell all of those. Today, we are going to do the Fusion Paint, okay? So. As we go along, if you're interested in purchasing or knowing what colors we have in stock, you can ask Katie's on there to answer, but I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna use this color today, which is called Brook. Okay, it's like a really pretty green. And I'm also using my favorite brush, which is the large brush. Okay, it's got a flat handle. It's got beautiful synthetic bristles. And as long as you keep these clean and dry them upside down so they don't rust, this is going to give you a ton of life. I love these brushes for this type of paint. I also love this Fusion Mineral Paint for um, projects that I'm not distressing, okay? So I've used it on my kitchen island. Maybe I'll show you that in a minute. And we use it on pieces that are not going to distress. Because it has a top coat built in, it dries really hard and it becomes a little difficult to distress. 
So this is a good paint if you're doing cabinets, if you're doing um, islands like I did, or if you're doing pieces of furniture that you really don't want to distress, this is a really good option for that, okay? So what we're going to do is simply brush it on. Since I want this to be kind of a really nice, clean, smooth finish, I'm going to be a little careful with my brush strokes. I can tell this will need two coats, but it's going to be beautiful. So this is like a sagey, not a sagey, kind of a really pretty, fun, I wouldn't even call it mint. Maybe it's a little mint. When I get to the top, I'm not going to paint the inside, so I'm going to go real careful. You could definitely paint this off, but generally speaking, I just try to be very careful. Okay? So this is a really great color. Tell me what you guys have painted if you're a furniture painter, if you're a hobby painter, if you painted your kitchen. I know some of you are in the process of painting your kitchen cabinets because you've been getting paint from us. Let us know if you've used Fusion, if you love Fusion. This brush that we sell, obviously, in the store and here on the live, is going to give you the best finish for this type of paint. It's a beautiful brush. I love this color. The kids were telling me not to paint it. Um, but. I need a pop of color. In this room, we just painted the walls. You can see that behind me. I had somebody come in and paint all the walls in the crown molding shades of white. We had like a creamy tan in here for about 15 years, more than that, probably 18 years. And I just paid somebody to come in and paint all of that. I got this really great rug. I don't even know if you could see my rug. Probably not. It's got shades of pinks and greens. You would tape that off and be way better than me, but I'm just going to. Janet, if you need raw silk, all you need to do is type sold 300 raw silk and it'll drop in your cart. Okay. And then we can do online or we can do um, shipping for you or we can do in store pickup. So we have a couple spots left right now for custom painting. I think we could probably take maybe three more pieces. So if you don't want to paint yourself, you can um, email Katie at schoolhousesalvage.com and she will tell you what you need to get a quote from us to do the painting for you. If we do have to close over the next couple weeks, I want to be able to um, have the girls working and so if you have a project you want us to paint now is a good time to get it in. This is a really great color. I love, love, love it. It's going to look great in here. I'm painting, I'm not painting, I'm doing up, can you hear me when I turn away from the camera? Um, I'm doing up one of these for each of my four kids and putting in heirloom things that we've collected, like uh, dishes, china dishes and all that kind of stuff. Oh, you did, okay. Raw silk is gorgeous. Um, so these are gonna be heirloom trunks for my kids, hopefully they'll appreciate it. Who knows though? You want to help? No. Nobody wants to help. All right, so that's kind of how it's looking. The small brush, yes. Thank you, Katie. All right, hold on, let me, whoa. I just put my foot in the paint, it's fine. All right, here I go, I'm turning you just a little bit. Okay. Go this way. On this one, I'm going to paint all the way around the back. The back is unfinished, but we're going to use it as a coffee table in front of the couch. So I am going to paint the back. 
And generally speaking, by the time you get to the end of your project, um, you can give it a second coat. It dries that, that um, um, Teresa, yes, I was waiting on one item for yours and I can put that in tomorrow, so yours should be ready. As of right now, we will be open in the store tomorrow unless something changes. What are you doing? What are you into in there? Huh? You seem like you're doing something mischievous, mischievous in there. What are you doing? Huh? Harrison, I'm going to come in there in one second and lay the smack down on you. What are you doing? Uh, this is day one of our spring break. It's going well. What are you, you guys are not on the camera. I don't know why you think this is so funny. All right, so that's a good point, Nancy. So this has no odor, low VOCs, no odor. And what I love about this type of paint and all of our lines of paint, what did you spell? Is that you can do it inside. So all I did was put down a drop cloth. There's literally no odor to this. I guarantee you if you painted and he wasn't home, and he came home, he'd never even know that you painted. All right, so, isn't it pretty? All right, I'm gonna drag you over here because I can't move my, I can't move the trunk because I've got it up on my uh, painting props, which I'll show you in a minute. They're tuna cans, um, so I'll move you. Um, I guarantee you, you would not even notice a smell in the house. really fast. We're going to be done with this today. And so normally this has a built-in top coat, so you don't necessarily need to do anything else. We do sell a clear wax. We wax everything at the store as a top coat. It kind of protects it. Um, so you can also purchase the wax if you need that. This does have a built-in top coat, like I said, but I like the extra layer of wax to kind of protect the piece. You are ridiculous. <laughs> what are you even doing with your life right now? <laughs> Have you brushed your teeth today? No. Get upstairs and brush your teeth. Yeah. Now. And then you can come back. Don't bump it. Don't bump it. I'm telling you, I will smack you silly. Get. Don't walk through the hearing of your underwear on. That's not <laughs> right. <laughs> go around. Nobody wants to see you in your underwear. Just go through here. Yep, go that way. Oh, big brain. Oh. Is that what's recording? Um, that's showing me the comments. It's recording here on the phone. It's a very, very impressive production setup, isn't Wait, it? Why are you using tuna to lift it up? Well, tuna cans work perfectly. It's my secret. That way I can paint all the way around it without it being on the floor. Now go brush your teeth and put some clothes on. It is 2 o'clock. What do you mean? know about you, Harrison. Um, Harrison, move the mouse on my computer so it wakes up again. You have to put some more stuff around this because it's freaking cute. Okay, move the mouse on my computer and then go upstairs and brush your teeth. What am I supposed to do? Just do it. Move the mouse. Don't click it. Just, there you go. Thank you. All right, hit the I'll road. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, go. Nobody, there. it's looking at me right now. Go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spin you around this way. Oh. All right, so we're on to the last side and then we're going to do the back. The tuna cans, I know you're laughing, but the tuna cans are really good because they're short and they're perfect. So let's move you this way. All right, I know you can't see this side, but we can still chat. 
So let's see, I told you about the customs that we're booking. Um, we are doing a live store tour tomorrow at about 2 o'clock, same time tomorrow. The girls and I will walk you around the store and you can purchase, you can get inspired, um, any of those types of things. We will probably take and do some store refreshes this week if we do have to close. Um, we have some things in mind that we want to get done, but hopefully we won't have to. All of the colors that we've used from this line, this fusion line, are gorgeous. We've used Homestead Blue, Katie's painting her kitchen cabinets in, what color Katie is that? I can't remember. Um, I've painted all the trim in my house, this house right here, in um, one of the fusion colors called Casement. It's a really pretty white, and I've used it freshening up all of our trim around the house. Um, what else? Do you have clothes on? No, you don't. Go put clothes on. What are you even doing? <laughs> Go on, get clothes on. Your father's going to kill you. Bayberry. Yes, Bayberry. This is a pretty color. This is from um, Fusion, and they have a line called the Michael Penny Collection. He's a designer, and he did some colors. Um, once everything's back to normal, we'll get back to doing our in-store demos. Katie, that reminds me, we need to cancel the demo for Sunday so that we don't have a crowd of folks back there at the workbench. So if you don't mind canceling that one and we will reschedule. That was our Miss Mustard Seed class. All right, so I'm going to close this up. I'm going to stick some books in there to keep it open. And then we're going to paint the top. You could do a two-tone where you keep the top wood and um, do the base, but this one we're going to paint most of the um, wear on this one was on the top, so it's going to look really good once we get it freshened up. Do you like this color, Harry? As well as Ash, why do you always use that color? Do I always use it? Yeah. I feel like it makes me happy. This is a bright color. Doesn't it look good? Aren't I like a furniture artiste? And you kind of are. I kind of am, aren't I? Because your whole shop is kind of piece of <laughs> It kind of is. It's kind of like what we call a J-O-B. <laughs> Here we go. So this is going to look really great. In between, sometimes I take a very fine grit sandpaper and just go over it really, really lightly to get out any little paintbrush um, strokes or dust bunnies or anything like that that may have landed on there. And if you feel like you need more workability time, meaning that the paint is getting a little bit tacky, you can definitely dip your brush in water while you're painting because this is a water soluble paint and it'll extend that workability just a little bit. What are you two whispering about over there? <laughs> I'm going to come over there and get you. I've got an audience now. <laughs> and they're being really, really ridiculous. Are you clapping now? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. These are the risks of doing projects at home. <laughs> Little do these children know that starting next week, they're going to be doing homework all day. Today is spring break, and next week it is all work all day. Oh, I am loving this. This is a really great color. Does she always use that color? I don't always use this color. It doesn't really use the color. Yeah. I do have hecklers. It's a tough crowd. Oh, I gotta do under this lip. Hold on. Don't you heckle me. I won't make you dinner if you heckle me. What the heck? Isn't that child abuse? Do what? Yeah. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. That's child abuse. It's not child abuse, it's punishment. It's you have no idea about going to bed without dinner. Oh, 
used to be a thing. <laughs> Is that happening to you? It has happened to me. <laughs> Does that happen a lot? No, but it's probably happened to everyone my age going to bed without dinner. You guys are very, very fortunate. I took my soup. Especially since you never eat what I cook, you should go to bed without dinner. You do most of the time. This lip. Mom, why don't you talk to your audience? Did you like? Why don't you talk? I don't know. You seem to be a heckler. You seem so to have a lot to say. <laughs> it's the one thing I don't like. All right, we're gonna close this up and hopefully not pinch my fingers. And mom is using tuna cans to lift it up. Mom is using tuna cans. Okay, let's finish off the top. Why don't you just keep, why don't you finish the top and then? Am mm -hmm. I on a mint kick? <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I didn't realize that. Oh, I am because I did those risers yesterday. Maybe that's it. It just feels very springy to me. Mom. Yeah. That book is the same color as the thing. Is it? Maybe it's because I painted it. No, like the whole book. Oh, is it? I know, you're right. I must be. It must be spring. Spring is getting me. All right, so I need to paint the back over here, and then I will probably give it a little while to um, set up before I do the second coat, and that way I can get my kids under control because they seem to be spilling things in the kitchen and just generally misbehaving. <laughs> You probably need some outdoor time. Question mark. I do not know because I can't see that. Katie's operating the production for me on her end. This is a this is a like huge production company that you're witnessing right now. You get to see I all of I don't know. You get to Are see interested? all of this fanciness. That goes on behind, behind the scenes like when you're at school. Like a thousand? I just got paint on my jeans. All right, well, this is water soluble, so it should come right out of clothing, which is good. And let's see, what else can I tell you? Do you guys have any questions about the prep, the paint? If you have a specific question about a project you're working on, put it in the comments and I will try to answer it for you. How large of a paintbrush is 306? Oh, I'm sorry. You're telling me I typed it wrong? I'm not surprised. I took a client call. Of course, right before we're going live, I got a client call. Um, so it discombobulated me. What's going You don't know that word? Discombobulated? It's a great word. Grandpa Doug uses that all the time. Discombobulated. Yep, discombobulated. What's you that? can use that word. I'll let you borrow it. It means all out of sorts. Kind of like all goofed up. What is the definition Discombob of discombobulated? Discombobulated? Why are you asking? Here's what I found. I'm using the large one. And I don't have the small one here at home with me. But um, I think this is the two inch and the small one I believe is a one inch. And I like this one for large flat surfaces, but to be honest, I'm getting arthritis in this hand. So I usually use the smaller one because um, it's not as heavy, but they're both really great. What is arthritis? Arthritis is like when your joints hurt a little bit or you get, you know when you get a cramp, in your leg or something, mm -hmm. it kind of feels like that. Yeah, just gets, you know, your joints are getting 
They're getting worn out, Harrison. <laughs> it happens. But I only have it in my hand. Only when I paint for a while. Alright, and that is the whole entire thing in about a half an hour. This will get a second coat. Half an hour. Yeah, about a half an hour. This will get a second coat. Yes, I know, I know, Katie, we have two. We have the large and the small. I thought I put them both in the description. So this would be the large, this is the two inch, and the small is an inch and a half. And we do have both for sale. Um, this is, Brook is the color of this one. And I lightly sanded the whole piece, mainly just to give it a good cleaning and to scuff up the surface so that the paint has something to grab oh, onto. I'm okay. Um, and then I cleaned it all again, and then the paint will grab nicely when you have a slick surface and you scuff it up just a little bit. All right, what else? Um, I am not going to distress this. This one I'm going to leave um, very clean lines, hopefully. Sometimes when you have a piece of furniture that's a little more beat up to start with, it makes more sense to distress it in the end because it is already a worn and distressed piece. So depending on how the next coat goes on, I might distress it, but nothing in, well, I guess I have a distressed stool over there. Um, this room is a little bit more um, clean lines, I guess. Ron doesn't love super distressed furniture, so if it comes out nicely, I will not distress it. If it looks a little beat up and I think the kids are gonna beat it up more, I will probably sand it back a little bit. Yes, so the better brush is going to give you a better finish. If you use a cheaper, less quality brush, you will see brush strokes and it will not come out as good. Um, these brushes are really good and if you keep them clean and dry them upside down so they don't rust, you will get a lot of life out of these and they will work really well for you. Um, brush strokes again will also happen if you're reworking paint that has become tacky. Um, these are the brushes that we sell, Kelly. You can buy them on this sale. This is the two inch brush and then we have a one inch brush as well. These are um, acrylic, not acrylic, synthetic bristles. Stop doing that, you're bugging me. Um, <laughs> you're waving your foot around. Um, when you use an acrylic based paint like Fusion, a synthetic bristle brush is going to be really your best option for a smooth finish. When you use more of a chalk style paint or an authentic milk paint, like a Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint, the natural bristle brushes will give you a better finish for those paints. So I always tell the folks in the store that the prep and the tools and the materials you use will make your piece turn out better. And if you're putting all of the time into rehabbing a piece, you're gonna want it to come out the best it can. So good brushes, Good prep work. Don't let anyone tell you you don't need prep because you do. You have to prep everything. Uh, the better prep work, the better brushes, the better paint um, is really going to give you a good finish. Over the next couple weeks, we will be going live here and on both of my pages, which is Schoolhouse Salvage and Plum City Paint, to show you how to use all of the paints that we sell and give you some tips and tricks and mixing recipes and distressing and using the colored waxes. So if that's of interest to you, look out for that. We're gonna program that into our schedule. Um, the other page is Plum City Paint, so you can go follow that on Facebook, but we'll let you know over here on Schoolhouse Salvage too. Um, what else? I think that might be it. I'm going to give this another coat of paint and then you'll see it. I'll put it up here and show you how it's finished and if I get it finished and styled today in the living room, which is where it's going, I will um, show you. But we will be live again tomorrow at 2 to do a store tour. Hopefully you can join us on the store tour. My legs just fell asleep and um, grab some inspiration and some fun and just have a little 
What grid? Okay, the prep but for a fine. So you want to use a fine grid. This is a one, no, that's medium. You want to use a fine. I used a medium on this one and it was probably a little too rough, but that's all I had at home. So any fine grit sandpaper will work for a um, cleaning sand or a prepping sand. I would love to show you how to distress. We'll do that over on our with our Plum City paint because it distresses the best, so look out for that. I would love to send you pictures. Um, that's it for me. I'm going to finish this, and since today is the day of Amy, the day off, I think I might take a nap. No, I'm not going to take a nap. Are we going to take a nap? No. no, we're not going to take a nap. We get some more chores done. All right. No, I am. I'm going to take No chores? <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you soon. Have a great Monday afternoon.